The first comfort for my mom was that her apartment looked like home. But when she got here, she just stayed in her room. And so then Luis, he met her where she was. She's come to life more so than she was living at the old house. It's like she's somebody bigger than she was before. When she came to live with us, uh, she bring her dad. His name uh, was Andy. I tried to uh, build a relationship between me and her, but I know she loves cats. And then I tried to I'm not bond with the cat too. Luis, one word sums it up, he's family to them. He doesn't work at Whisper Woods, he's a part of their family. Everybody loves him. Whether it's a resident, a family member, an associate, the answer is yes, how can I help you? Luis used to call dad his buddy. And they used to have fun going out together. Luis would take some of the, the men out for little day excursions. And, you know, after one particular day excursion, Luis came to me and he said, your dad and I found the best pizza place around. He was a really nice guy. He enjoyed the games, especially bocce ball. He loved that. We play bocce ball, darts, shuffleboard. We go out to eat pizza, only guys. My dad always felt that Luis was his buddy. So for that, I'm always very grateful. My husband got to know him pretty well. And when he was in the hospital, he asked to come home here. Uh, I was a little hesitant to have him come home because I felt he needed the care that he got in the hospital. We decided to bring him here. And uh, I don't think he realized that he was here until Luis came in and spoke to him. Unfortunately, my father passed away only several hours after he was home, but that was the main goal. He wanted to be home. And we know that he knew he was home when he heard Luis's voice. With Luis, it's an unconditional acceptance of my mom that, that even I could learn from. She's always telling my mom, you're my friend, you're my friend. And it just, it means everything to her. She's living her best life right now, and, and who would have thought? I know that this is my job, but I try to put my heart. And then if you told me that I'm touching another people's life, that make me feel really proud of myself. Luis truly exemplifies call to care. He does not do this for a paycheck. You put your head on your pillow, and I'm sure he feels like he makes a difference every day. There are so many nice people in this building, every one of them. But Luis is the kind of person that you only meet two or three people like him in your lifetime. When my dad passed away, he knew my mom was going to be lonely. And so he made sure that she was going to be seated with other people who would keep her company, that would just fill her days with the void that was left by my dad. That's not just caregiving, that's compassionate caregiving. So that's why I think Luis is very deserving of this Compassionate Care Award. When I first got here, I couldn't stand up. I couldn't walk. I couldn't get in the shower. Pauline was the first person that I felt comfortable with and that I trusted. And the trust is paramount. If you don't have trust, you can't do anything. And she gave me that. She gave me, it's going to be okay, just stand up, you can do it, let's try and do a couple of steps. I mean, she just, she was great, really, really great. So every time she make a step, progress, she would call me and she would say, Pauline, I did that yesterday. And I keep saying, you can do it. It's what is in you. You have the willpower. And then we build that bond. Pauline has been here since this community opened about four years ago. 
When I met her day one here in the community, I could tell that she was a strong advocate for the residents as well as her teammates. When I interact with Pauline, I look to her as a resource. I truly value what her thoughts and opinions are about what the residents and community need, and I think she's valuable beyond her role as an RCA. When I was back home, my mom died when she was 94, and I always be a caregiver for her and my grandmom. This is my passion. I was born into this. I'm the person who loves to deal with older folks, babies. I have that compassion for, I'm a people person. So I feel, working in this field, I feel like it's, it's just what I wanted. If I could use one word to describe Pauline as my lead RCA is sunshine. She's wonderful in the building and she brings it in every day, rain or shine. She's very outgoing. She's willing to sit down with somebody and listen to them, hold their hands. Um, and then if someone's having a bad day, she's the first one to put their, her arms around them, give them a hug, tell them that things are gonna be okay and move on. I nominated Pauline for this award because she was just this tower of strength, tower of love, tower of care. You never felt from her that she wished she was home or somewhere else. She was always present with you fully. She's a hero every single minute of every single day, in my opinion. All of our residents benefit from Pauline, not just Carla. Oh, I love this place. This is like home. I'm a lead head here, and most of the time when the aides come in late in the morning, or afternoon, or any time, I am always here. I am the last one to leave in the evening until the other shift comes in. It's like I don't want to leave this place. I'm in love with this place because it's not a big community, so we are like families. Pauline is a perfect example of someone who was called to care and has transformed the lives of all residents through human connection. Pauline is very deserving of this award. Every day she goes above and beyond for what she does for the residents. Her heroism is how amazing she does her job. That's her heroism. She Every day, she comes here and she does her job in a very professional, wonderful, loving way. <laughs>